In the last movie, we saw how to change the interpolation between keyframes by choosing a different interpolation type. Now we'll explore this a bit more and see how to edit interpolation by manipulating tangent handles. I've got the curve editor open with my camera selected. If a selected keyframe is of the type auto tangent or spline, then it will display a line or lines, which are the tangents. At the end of the tangents are handles to control the shape of the interpolation. If I want the transition out of a keyframe to happen more slowly, I can lengthen its tangent handles. So for example, we can go to the X position track and frame horizontal and value extents, select the keyframe at frame zero and lengthen that handle and create a slower slow out or ease out. Again, if I click and drag, I'll move that tangent handle both horizontally and vertically. And that can be problematic in this case because if, for example, I move that tangent handle lower than the value of the keyframe, then if we pan around with our middle mouse, we'll see that we have a negative slope here. And let's look at that in the top viewport. Observe the motion of the camera from left to right, which is the X axis. It starts off moving in negative X, and then it starts moving in positive x. Okay, so that's because we've got a negative slope on that curve. I'll stop the playback and rewind again, go back to the curve editor, and I'll undo that last change to the tangent handle using Control Z. And now we've got an auto handle once again. I know that it's an automatic tangent because it's got a dashed blue line. As soon as I edit it, it turns into a spline interpolation also known as Bezier curve interpolation. Once again, I can constrain the movement of a tangent handle by holding down control. To lengthen that handle, I can just click and drag to the left or right. And that way I'm not changing the value of the tangent handle, I'm just changing its position in time. And then if we rewind and play back, we're getting a slower slow out in the X axis only. Okay, we can do that for the other channels as well and try to synchronize these. I'll control click on the Y position and Z rotation and frame all of those horizontally and vertically. If I select multiple keyframes, I can see multiple tangent handles and we can see that those are all different lengths. If I want to edit multiple tangent handles, it's a little bit trickier. By default, you can only move one tangent handle at a time because you can't actually select more than one handle at a time. I can hold control and click and drag and move that one handle but these other ones don't move, even though their keyframes are currently selected. To manipulate more than one tangent handle at a time, you'll need to enable Lock Tangents. That's found on the toolbar on the far right, which is the Tangent Actions toolbar. The button on the extreme far right is Lock Tangents. When we enable that, then we don't need to select more than one tangent. If we control click and drag, we will manipulate the tangents on all selected keyframes. However, that adjustment is going to be proportional to the starting length of the tangents. If I wanted all the tangent handles to be the same length as I adjust them, they would need to start out being the same length. So I'll turn lock tangents off, and I want to adjust the length of this Z position handle. I want to manipulate just one tangent handle, but I want to see all of them, so I'll drag a selection rectangle around those three keyframes, and I'll only manipulate the Y position tangent handle, which is this one here. So hold down control and drag, and I'll make that the same length as the others. Then we can turn on lock tangents and move any one of them with control click, and we're changing all of their lengths. All right, let's give that a tangent length of about 40 frames. And we can do the same over here, select those, Looks like this is the one that needs to be longer, so I'll turn lock tangents off. Control click on that and extend it. Turn lock tangents back on again and change all of their lengths simultaneously. Let's give this a pretty long slow out. We'll leave those at a duration of about 50 frames. And finally, although we can see and edit the statistics for selected keys, we're not able to access the tangent handle numeric data by default. That's not displayed in the graph anywhere. We'll need to go into a special window to access that. So I'll select just one keyframe and then right click on that keyframe and that opens the keyframe statistics window. And I can expand that by clicking advanced and here's the tangent handle information. 
If I needed to plug in a specific length, for example, I could do that here. Okay, after editing those tangent handles and making them a little bit longer, we should have softened up our motion a little bit. Slightly slower slow out and a slower slow in as well. So it's got a more gentle movement to it. That's the essentials of editing keyframes and their interpolation in the Curve Editor.